Hi right, guys, welcome to Office Blitz Reacts. I am not dressed in appropriately. <laughs> I'm Office Blow Mike. <laughs> I am a legal food. You knew you can't eat. Mm. That was a double <laughs> negative then. Mm. I said I'm not dressed in appropriately. Yeah. Which was true. Anyway, we are the Office Blokes. Office Blow Mike is going to tell you about our Patreon page. I will indeed. Uh, Patreon. Have a look at patreon.com. Office Blokes React. Uh, we've got people. loads of tiers there. Go and have a look at those Huge. if you fancy supporting our challenge. <laughs> Our challenge, our <laughs> channel, <laughs> like a, a lot of people have done already. That'd be fantastic. So go down there and fantastic. check it out. Yeah. Fantastico. Yep. And Office Bloke Daz on Instagram is going to tell you about our two other channels. Cheers, Office Bloke Dave on Instagram. Right. We've got Office Blokes Try, where we try different things from around the world. And we've got Office Blokes Podcasts, where we talk shit. And on there, coming soon, we've already done one, recorded it, ready to go out. Office Blokes Confidential. Yeah. Where you can learn about the slap and swipe. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Uh, Watch yeah. Mike wish he wasn't here for a <laughs> <laughs> What was it? What was that video we used to watch? People when people die. You people watch people, watch die, people die inside. Die, yeah. yeah. Watch Someone, people die inside. Someone's got to make an edit of yeah. like it going black and white and some violins and stuff. Hello, Hello like that. Is my old friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've never oh, seen someone so uncomfortable in my life. It's just yeah. grim. It really is. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Very, very you sick funny. People, you sick mm-hmm. questions. <laughs> anyway, uh, twenty. US foods you never knew were illegal to eat. Hmm. Interesting. See, I didn't realise it was US because there's. Uh, I was thinking of one in France where you get a jacket potato that's got a bird inside it and you're mm. supposed to put a tea towel over your head and you eat the whole thing, crunching the bones and everything. Oh, and that that's Jesus illegal. Christ. Office blokes try. I'm not Absolutely trying Absolutely zero chance. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's that. gross. Uh, I ch- <laughs> it's not chicken. It might be chicken, the bird. Oh, well, then. Hey, chicken, go, right? chicken and potatoes. <laughs> the twist is this might be salad. And it might be an easy fix to sort out the obesity uh, problem. Yeah. We're supposed to have a worse obesity oh, problem over mean. here, actually, believe it or what's not. What's illegal to eat over here that people eat? I think um, is what's illegal. It, is what's illegal, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what's the goose's liver? Uh, foie gras. Foie gras, yeah. Uh, no, it's not illegal. They were trying think. to make it legal, wasn't they? I wonder if Maybe. veal is illegal. No, veal's not illegal. No, I mean in America. Oh, no, love, it's not. Love a bit of veal. Anyway, should we get into it and find out? If you walk into a supermarket or an all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant, it's easy to get blown away by the sheer selection of food. In America, if you want something to eat and have the cash, odds are you can find it. But that's not always the case. Some iconic foods are actually illegal in America. If you try to sell or import these foods... You Mm. It's going to be like Cuban. No. Do you know what? What? Which one is it legal in the UK? Is the Kinder Egg? Because it can cho- ah, because choke yeah, the kids. It's a because of the toys. It. Yeah. Small toys in them. It's illegal. Ah, it's either okay. here or. Where did I see it was illegal? One of the countries I've been to. I just wonder if there's going to be things along the line of Cuban cigars being banned because of. You're, not, te- eat, you're not eating them. No, right? no, but along the lines because of the like the yeah. embargo mm. on Cuba and things like Probably that. Probably like whale, whale meat, stuff like that, maybe. Well, me is something like that. Go for Could it. wind up having your goods seized by the <laughs> government and facing fines or even jail time in there some cases. Some are dangerous to the eater, some are banned for conservation reasons, and some are just flat out shocking. But the one thing they all have in common, they're not going to be on the shelves anytime soon. But the first in this list might be a fond childhood memory for many. Number 20. Kinder Surprise Chocolate Eggs A tasty treat imported from Italy, these desserts are a candy and a toy in one. The rich milk chocolate shell covers a plastic egg, similar to the ones hidden in Easter egg hunts. When the happy child eats the chocolate shell and opens the egg, they find a mystery toy inside. This made many kids very happy, but it wasn't without its risks. Authorities were worried about the toy being a choking hazard, and US policies ban any candy from containing a non-nutritive object. So the Kinder Egg was banned in America despite protests, and the Ferrero company issued a new version for Americans without the plastic egg and toy. But what's the fun in that? The next entry was also a sweet treat. I've thought that with loads of things. I've got um, like a toy kitchen, and some of these things are like pretend foods that are that big. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, who would make a pretend chokeable sized yeah. thing for a kid to, you know, this is pretend food? Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Bit dodgy, that isn't it? I've been stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, it comes in, I'm like, no marbles. I was smirking. Yeah. I was smirking to myself there because I was thinking about the, the office block confidential, and someone saying to me, "Have you been eating a Kinder Egg?" <laughs> <laughs> but it hid its danger much more effectively. Number nineteen: cognac jelly cups. 
Remember those jello cups you used to get in your lunch? Popular in Japan, cognac jelly cups look similar but come in smaller portions that can be slurped in one go. Made from a root, it's popular for being extremely low in calories and having a firmer consistency than most gelatin-based desserts. They come in multiple flavors and often have bits of coconut embedded in them. But the low calories come with a dangerous drawback. Because they're slow to dissolve and it's easy to suck down the whole gel, they pose a choking risk to young children. So while they remain a popular snack abroad, and cognac is still used in other ways like a zero-calorie noodle substitute, the colorful snacks have been prohibited by the US since 2002. You might be shocked to know this next item could be illegal. You probably had it this week. Number 18. Unpasteurized milk. Milk definitely isn't illegal. And We've got a law in this country about raw milk, haven't we? Which is basically the same thing. Um, for a farm, to, they're allowed to sell it themselves, but it's got to be... I don't think they can distribute it. So essentially, like at the entrance to a farm, you might have loads of raw milk that you can go so and buy. So they can have like a, like a farm shop. They can do it, sell yeah. it from there sort of thing. Yeah, the, I've, I heard some radio debate yeah. about it where there was like vending machines at farms where you can go and get raw milk. Yeah. But there was restrictions around them, I think, wholesaling it. Right, so okay. other people couldn't sell it on their behalf. Yeah. I might be completely getting that mm. wrong. But. United States. <clears throat> Countless quarts are sold each week, but almost all the milk sold in the country, and definitely all the milk at your local supermarket, has been pasteurized before sale in order to kill bacteria and render it more shelf stable and safer for consumption. But some aficionados insist that pasteurized milk loses both the true taste and many of the nutrients of milk. Whether that's true or not, unpasteurized milk is 150 times more likely to cause illness than the pasteurized kind, according to the FDA. That's why it's banned in 21 states, and most of the other 29 strictly regulated. This next one used to be a common ingredient, but with a surprise. Imagine it being banned in your state, but you can go and get it straight out of the tea if that's what you're into. <laughs> is, it, is it the sale of it that's banned? Do you think? I would well, guess so. It must well, be, mustn't it? I don't know if you can yeah. consu if you can consume it. Obviously, same as drugs, isn't it? The banned for sale, but you can consume them. Yeah, but it's illegal. I think it's illegal to take the drugs. Is it illegal to drink the raw milk? Because if you you know mm. you're a farmer and you like raw milk, who's going to stop you? I don't think Suckling on that good tea. Talking on, yeah. <laughs> I think you'd probably get away with it there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Sing kick number seventeen. Sassafras oil. If you've heard of sassafras, it's probably as an old-timey candy flavor that your grandfather gave you. It used to be much more common, but it's mostly known today as the key flavor in old-school root beer. Many root beers are flavored. Is that what we call sarsaparilla? Maybe, maybe. I don't know what that is. I don't know what either of those things are. Well, so beer. maybe <laughs> root beer has got that sass. What I would say is sass sarsaparilla. Taste. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So I don't know if that's the same thing. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Or one's a derived from the other. Of the yeah. other yeah. Officially today, and there's a reason for that, sassafras oil is double trouble. Not only has it been linked to an increased risk of cancer and kidney and liver damage, but it can be used to make psychoactive drugs. This is all due to a compound named safferol. And while it's been banned since the 1960s, extracts from the bark of the sassafras plant can still be sold if they're free of the dangerous compound. This next food might be banned in America, but it's iconic in Jamaica. Number 16. Aki the national fruit of Jamaica, ackee, has been described as being a nutty fruit with the texture of scrambled eggs. That's made it a common component in the breakfast dish. We got purple ackee over it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Different ball game spicy altogether. Spicy fruit cake. Yeah. Key and saltfish. But while it's a staple in the island nation, it poses a danger if not handled correctly. When the fruit is unripe, it's loaded with hypoglycin A, a toxin that can cause hypoglycemia and dehydration by impeding the body's ability to lower blood sugar. The raw fruit has been banned since 1973 by the FDA, but not all hope is lost for fans of the Jamaican treat. Canned and frozen fruits are available, although carefully regulated. But none of these foods can easily kill you. That's not true for this next one. Number 15. Fugu No, this fish isn't banned because it can puff up and sticky with its spines. It's considered del- It's a puffer fish, Fugu. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, maybe. The only reason I know about that is because of an episode of The Simpsons from about 18 years ago, oh, something yeah. like that. Mm. Well, I think Homer eats it and gets poisoned. Yeah, there's a way of cooking it, isn't it? And if you cook it wrong, that's what kills you. I think there's bits of the fish as yeah. well. It's only a certain bit that you can actually yeah, yeah. eat. The rest yeah. goes in the bin. All ah, right, okay. Office blokes, try puff a fish, mate. Fuck that. I'll, no I'll cook it. You two try it. <laughs> and if you two are okay, then I'll have a bit. <laughs> I'm sick that day in the sushi world, but only the masters of the sushi knife dare to serve it. 
That's because, as immortalized on an early episode of The Simpsons, <laughs> hidden yeah, in yeah. the skin and in some of the organs is an incredibly deadly toxin named tetrodotoxin. This neurotoxin can cause paralysis and can kill people who eat enough, and one wrong knife cut could contaminate the whole fish. For most people, that's enough to steer away, but many thrill-seeking gourmets are willing to take the risk. But the government isn't. Sale and consumption of fugu is banned in the United States, except for a few select chefs who are properly trained. But some regulations aren't here to protect us, they're here to protect the animals. Number 14. Horse Meat While horses aren't endangered, they're viewed as beloved companions by much of the country, and eating them just seems rude. It's not illegal to eat horse meat, but it's not going to be easy. Slaughtering horses using slaughterhouses is illegal, as is importing the meat or selling it. While the meat is a common deli- Better not get any Findus crispy pancakes then. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I thought pepperami was a horse, horse no. meat. No, yeah. it's pork. I don't, think so. it? I don't know. I have talked about horse meat with people quite a lot. You know, there's a byproduct of the racing industry, and yeah. lots of horses aren't viable anymore, and they just get killed, and then nothing happens to them. I'm not against people eating horse. That's quite could be quite I mean, controversial for I some think we people. Sort of but see it over here as sort of like eating dog, I suppose, don't we? Like they say, it's the more like companions as well, aren't they? And a bit more. I don't know. They're not, they're not. They're not deemed to be like the same as cows are they? And no. Pigs and stuff. They're just, no. You know, they're just not. They've well, got some more countries though. Cows are sacred. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. True. And yeah, they probably eat horse. On country. It may be. Yeah. It's, it's, you're kind of getting into certain weird ethics here because, like, veal, lamb, okay, horse, not okay. Yeah. Why? What's the difference? We've all eaten horse. Guaranteed it's just your local. Horse. It's probably just like local customs, isn't it? And the way we mm. feel about things, like say other countries, they eat you know dog and cat, don't they, and mm. things like that, and they think nothing of it. I've eaten but bear. Why is, why is bear different to horse? True. You try ride yeah. a bear. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> See in other countries around the world, the US ban was just renewed in 2018, no doubt pleasing horse lovers around the country, even if they may swear otherwise after their horse comes in last at the derby. But that doesn't take much for a species to become endangered, as this next fish found out. Number 13. Wild Redfish The redfish, or red drum, was a common game fish in the American South and was generally considered a good fish to eat, but it wasn't the most in demand, until one chef changed that. Paul Proudhome, a celebrity chef considered a legend of Cajun and Creole food, made a dish of blackened redfish that made this humble catch the hottest fish in town, and that meant fishing. Lots and lots of fishing, which quickly led to the population drastically decreasing. Since 2007, it's been a protected game fish, which prohibits the sale of any caught in federal waters. Fishing for the redfish is now banned in all states but Mississippi, although some farmed fish are available. And it's worked, the population is quickly recovering. Not many people can afford this next treat, but that didn't stop it from becoming endangered. Number 12. Beluga Caviar I don't have a toughest, but let's try. The caviar. Bit of caviar. Yeah. Was it beluga? Is it the same thing? I don't know if there's different types or what. Is beluga sturgeon? So it was. Mm -mm. Not well, sure, I'm not sure. But head over to the office, but let's try to see us try caviar. Yeah. Caviar, the salty eggs of the sturgeon, is one of the most expensive delicacies in the food world, and a few were more prized than the caviar from the beluga sturgeon. Found in the Caspian and Black Seas, this fish's eggs are prized for their subtle flavor and could command as much as $200 an ounce. This demand was high and the fish was soon on the verge of extinction. So in 2005, the US joined other countries in banning import of beluga caviar, hoping to help the species recover and repopulate. While a black market still exists, the species have survived to this day, although it remains critically endangered. But it's not the only endangered treat from the sea. Number 11. Queen Conch Most conchs are small, and some are among the most venomous animals in the world, but the queen conch, native to the Caribbean Sea, is one of the largest sea snails and has a meaty body that makes it a seafood delicacy. Its size makes it easier to catch, and that has made it an endangered species. While it remains a popular meal in Turks and Caicos, the United States has tried to reduce demand by banning its harvest in federal U.S. waters. But determined seafood fans can always head to the Caribbean. This next sea creature is a beloved resident of the ocean, but also on the menu. Number 10. Sea Turtles Most kids probably- You don't need to eat turtles. I'm just because it lives in the sea, don't mean you fucking have to eat it, right? <laughs> You can't eat most of them by the look of it. Most of them are sea creatures, aren't they? Loads of them. I, d I don't know. I, I feel worse about the turtles than I would about horses. Oh, do you? Yeah. 
I don't know why. Like it's a weird thing to wrestle with, isn't it? What, what's okay, yeah, what's not? Yeah, yeah. Associate them <clears> with the wise old sea turtle Crush from Finding Nemo. But these reptiles are considered a delicacy in many parts of the world. That's led many species, including the leatherback and hawksbill turtles, to become endangered. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service estimates that in California alone, 35,000 turtles are caught and eaten each year. Wow. While individual turtle species are protected mm. and illegal to catch and sell, turtle meat as a whole isn't. In fact, you might be able to find turtle soup made from land or freshwater turtles on sale at a local supermarket. It might surprise you to learn we eat these next creatures more than vice versa. Number 9. Shark Fin Soup Oh no! A shark! Stay out of the water! While most of us have seen movies involving killer sharks, we're actually a far bigger threat to them than they are to us. The gelatinous fins on large sharks are considered a delicacy and are used to flavor a popular Chinese soup. Shark finning, which involves cutting the fins off of sharks and throwing them back in the water, is increasingly considered cruel and has led to the shark population decreasing. While the sale of shark fins is only banned in 12 states and the soup is still a popular and expensive offering, the act of shark finning is totally banned in U.S. waters since 2000. The desire to protect sea life took this next delicacy off a lot of menus. Number 8. Chilean Sea Bass It may be an ugly fish, but all it takes is a little rebranding to make a seafood superstar. Originally called the Patagonian Toothfish, this meaty fish was renamed the Chilean Sea Bass to make it more appetizing. And it worked a little too well. The mass increase of fishing due to demand rapidly depleted the fish in the wild, and so the FDA stepped in. While it's not entirely illegal to catch this fish now, it's strictly regulated and only certified boats are allowed to catch the fish in specific numbers. But no. I, what, what are the restaurants I go in there to sell Chilean sea bass? Do they? Really? Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Have you ever, ever had it? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Nice. It's just like a white fish. It's is like it? a, yeah. it's, it is nice sea bass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I like okay. I like sea bass. Yeah. Anyway, but I mean, what's the what's the weirdest thing you've eaten then, or have you eaten anything that's on this list other than caviar? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure it was beluga though. <laughs> after they've said, yeah, that. I might go sure real like uh, experimental ones and had a chicken thigh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Over a chicken wing, you had the <laughs> yeah, yeah. sweating it when I was trying that, but you know, get the dark meat instead of the white uh, meat. <laughs> I think it's. Without a doubt, we will have all eaten horse at some point in this country. Yeah. Not on purpose, but it's been slipped into things quite a lot of times. So what would it There's be? Been loads of scandals. What would it be? A, sort of like a kin to like beef, that type of thing. You think? Or? I reckon it'd probably be quite beefy, but it's yeah. been in uh, things like frozen lasagnas, oh. ready meals. There's been loads yeah, of things come out. Yeah, it's been found. It's right. been the, they've come up the test, haven't they? And found the uh, yeah. Yeah, found yeah. contents of uh, horses. My wife had something. Um, I don't know if you should divulge what it is on here. Uh, because Probably it's, not. It's, it's controversial. <laughs> um, I'll tell you off, off air and we'll talk about another one if you want. But I when she had it, I would, and they'd be like, do you want it as well? And I went, I do not. And I sat there and the smell alone. And I went, I'm with another couple. And it served like in the middle of the table sort of thing. And my wife sort of like, takes it out. You have to, it's covered when it comes. She opens it up and she scoops it onto a plate. I'm just sat there going, oh, it's not for me. It's a brain. Smell. Monkey brain, yeah. Oh my God. And... The other lad who was with us, the other couple, the, the husband, he's got fucking bread mopping it up going, this is delicious. Oh, my God. And I'm, like, I'm looking at it, I'm just thinking, man, it looks, it looks disgusting. Oh. It, looked like, it looked like fatty mince. Yeah. Yeah. What it was. Uh, and it was like, man. and I'm just sat there. I mean, my wife tried it. And she didn't try it. And I went, I will not. It wasn't, it wasn't a case of ethical why I wasn't trying it. I, was try, I wasn't trying it because it just looked like shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure of the ethics of it mm. because you look at, I'm a celebrity in this country. They're eating stuff like that. Mm. So yeah, oh, they do yeah. absolutely all sorts mm. of that, don't they? Mm. But it's but, served uh, pretty fresh, God. is it? If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Still moving. Sounds grim. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't in this country. I must admit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, animal welfare ban has been more controversial than the next one. Number seven, foie gras, almost as prized as beluga caviar. This meaty treat is made from the livers of geese that are heavily fattened, giving the liver an extremely rich and creamy taste. The controversy comes in how the fattening is achieved, using a type of force feeding called gavage that involves funnels down the geese's throats. While defenders say the geese lack a gag reflex and it doesn't harm them, animal rights activists say the process is cruelty to animals and points to the reaction of the birds. That's led to California banning the sale of the product, with multiple cities including Chicago and New York City following suit. While a national ban isn't in the works yet, the activists continue to make the case. But you don't see foie gras often now on menus. Um, there's a substitute I've seen, yeah. 
and I've seen something on a menu and I've said to them, what's that? And they've gone, it's a four hour substitute and it's called, it was something else. But I, I think it was like a vegetarian sort of yeah. style oh, foie gras. All right. Oh, right. You know? And it tastes just like foie gras. Yeah. yeah. I've never had it. It doesn't, it doesn't really no, appeal to me, no, to be not, honest. No, not me either. And I think, mm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> it off. Wow. I'm surprised at that. <laughs> people can say it's not cruel and stuff like that, but jamming a funnel down anything's throat and then just pouring Sounds food a bit, down. a bit you off know. that, isn't it? You know, trying to feed them like that. I mean... Well, you can have that done, or you can have your neck fucking cut and hung up like a sheep, you know, or a goat. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the next band foods in the U. That was a conversation killer, wasn't it? This <laughs> might shock you. Number six, bush meat. This isn't so much a specific food as a class of food. Pangolin. It's common among trophy hunters to bush go to meat. Africa and hunt large animals, including giraffes and lions usually as part of a legal hunting program supervised by local guides. While these thrill-seekers might be able to display their trophies on social media to many jeers from animal lovers back home, they won't be able to bring their catch back home. Meat from African game hunts, named bushmeat by U.S. authorities, is strictly prohibited due to safety concerns, and customs agents will destroy any they find along with any items that might have come into contact with it. Some banned foods in the U.S. can pack a deadly punch in a small package. Number 5. Laetril have you ever eaten an apricot pit? It probably had a slightly nutty, bitter taste that tasted a little... Cyanide, isn't it? Is it? <clears throat> yeah, this uh, apricot, the stone mm. out of it. I watched the whole thing where they... It was one of these food on rat programs and they said something like about 10 of them is enough, contains enough cyanide to kill your average human being. Just from apricot yeah. seed. Wow. Yeah. I'm I sure. Yeah. Like a weird almond. But eating apricot pits is strongly discouraged because they contain a deadly compound, cyanide. This poison can be toxic or even fatal in large amounts, which makes it all the more shocking that some doctors were marketing it as a cancer treatment. Laetril, also known as vitamin B17, is a controversial supplement processed from apricot pits and was touted by New Age pseudo-medical activists as a cancer cure. Banned in the U.S. since 1980, it's been responsible for poisonings and may have been involved in hastening the death of famous actor Steve McQueen. But food or drink being poisonous hasn't always stopped its fans. Number 4. Absinthe There are plenty of potent spirits out there, but few deliver the kick that this bright green alcohol can. A green potion should be a giveaway that danger lies ahead, as any fairy tale fans will tell you, but absinthe has a pleasant, if intense, flavor of anise. The danger and, for some, appeal comes from... <laughs> so I suppose confidential again. <laughs> some swampy anise. Sorry. The wormwood used to make it. This wood contains the chemical compound thujone, which can be toxic in large amounts. While the legends of absinthe being a powerful psychoactive spirit that drove people to insanity might have been exaggerated, it was still banned in the U.S. until 2007, when its import was allowed as long as the thujone was below a certain level. But these last three entries might just make you lose your appetite. Number three, heck, you can buy absinthe over here, can't you? Yeah, I <clears> think so. Yeah, yeah, I've drunk it before. I think you might in America now. Can you? Can it just say banned up, up until 2013 or something? I was, I was still okay. chuckling about the uh, taste of anise. <laughs> A meaty pudding, this Scottish classic has shocked many people with its ingredients. It's a sausage made from onion, oatmeal, and suet, and a collection of sheep's organs, including the heart, liver, and lungs, ground up and encased in a sheep's stomach before cooking. While it's one of the most divisive culinary delights out there, most of the ingredients are harmless, with one exception. Sheep's lungs are banned from sale and import in the U.S. because lung meat is considered a potential vector for respiratory disease, but that hasn't eliminated haggis from the United States entirely. It's still sold in a modified version made with ground lamb and often liver and heart, and canned versions are available. But if you ask Scottish expats, it's just not the same. The penultimate entry is a shockingly primal culinary delight from France. Number 2. Ortolan a tiny songbird no larger than a thumb. Uh, this one ounce bird became one of the most notorious French luxury meals. The birds would be kept in covered cages, allowed to overfeed on grain so they'd become fat, and then would be drowned in armagnac and roasted. The diner would eat the bird whole, feet first, spit out the bones. But the tastes of the wealthy caused the population to decline, and eventually France and the EU banned the sale and import of this tiny bird. The US soon followed, which means this favorite snack of royalty has mostly faded into history, and the Ortholin Bunting's population has rebounded. 
but the number one. F- Seen Jeremy Clarkson eat it. Really? Yeah, he did a TV program where yeah. he went somewhere where they, they're not allowed to sell it, but they can still serve it. So it's free. If you'd have uh, said to me so which celebrity <clears throat> TV <throat> presenter do you think would have had it, yeah, he would have been my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah without That's a doubt. <laughs> food on this list will shock you because it's the only banned food that might fight back. Number one, Kasu Matsu. Everyone knows a good cheese needs a little funk, unless you're a Kraft Singles loyalist. But Kasu Matsu cheese from Sardinia takes this process to the extreme. Nicknamed the rotten cheese, it's a Picorino cheese made from unpasteurized sheep's milk. But it has a secret ingredient, fly larvae. It's deliberately seeded with the larvae, which turn into maggots and begin oh, no. to eat through the cheese, making it softer and supposedly increasing fermentation. When it's ready, the cheese is served with the live, wriggling maggots still in it. And eaters frequently wear goggles because the bugs will leap out of the cheese at the face of the diner. While it's a beloved tradition in Sardinia, it's not surprising that it's been banned from the US for health reasons. Some food scientists even say it's possible for the larva to survive digestion and create a parasitic infestation in the intestine. Maybe those craft singles are sounding better after all. For more shocking food secrets, that that grim, just that mean, grim. why would you do that? Why would you eat it? Can you I imagine mean, this list in China? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 20 foods yeah, illegal to eat in China. They're all on the menu. <laughs> You'd probably, like, yeah. you probably be like, hey. I was just thinking about, you know who's eating uh, that because they keep farting flies out. <laughs> <laughs> Office bought Chris will be probably like, uh, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I've got a Friday with a wash down with a beer. Uh, they're absolutely grim, <clears throat> some of those, aren't they? There's an appetizer to me, sir, strumming. <laughs> I, th- I think you said something towards the beginning of the video that's just along the lines of just because it's there doesn't mean you should eat it mm. or just because it was in yeah. the sea doesn't mean you should yeah. eat it. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm. And a cheese with exactly. maggots in it, come on, at least eat around the maggots. Exactly. I mean, you'd come <clears> up with something <throat> like that on your way in the first place. French. <laughs> What's it? Yeah. It was Italian, wasn't <laughs> what it? Be the point. But, but it's one of them where, you know, it's something, you leave something long enough and it, you know, it gets infested by mm. whatever mould or whatever it may yeah. be. And, you know, you, you see people eat, you know, eat, some of the food that people eat, you just think, why? You probably think that, like, if I got like oysters, <clears throat> and I was like eating oysters, you'd be like, "Why?" I'd probably it's not chicken. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I think that with oysters a little bit. I've never had them, but I've watched people eat them, and I'm Ooh, like, "Office blokes try yeah. oysters." We were gonna do it. It was on the cards, mm. wasn't it? Coming soon. I'll sort that out. Yeah, that's just <sighs> something to look forward to. I, I get some of them. It's like they're gonna go extinct. It's ethical reasons, things like that. Yeah. But just fucking cheese with maggots in it. Put it in the bin. I mean, there's so much food out there to choose from, isn't there? I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the bin. And you, on Office Bloke's Confidential, what mm. some other people eat, I think I'd rather eat cheese with maggots. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah. Grim. Yeah, anyway. Good point. Hope you guys like that too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. All that good stuff on all three channels.